Welcome to Youth Group on YouTube. Welcome to Youth Group on YouTube. In today's video, we're going to be tackling the question, what is justice? But before that, here's Christina with the announcements. Hey guys, for our announcement today, we want to let you know that our high school hangout is canceled, unfortunately. That was scheduled for tonight, Wednesday, July 22nd. We're canceling because of the new statement from our governor that said social gatherings are now not 50 anymore, but now we're back down to 10. Because we're not sure what this means for groups in churches, we're waiting to hear back from our church conference to see how to move forward with that. Um, so make sure to stay tuned on all of our social media platforms to stay informed about uh, our other events that we've already had scheduled. Thanks for understanding and hopefully we'll get to see you soon. Back over to you, Landon. What is justice? It's a complex question that's important for us to talk about and think about and apply to our very lives. Justice is based on behaving or acting according to what is morally right or fair. It's the quality of being just, righteous, equal, or moral. There are two kinds of justice that are really pertinent to us as Christians, and I think we need to talk about both of them. The first one is biblical justice, and the second is social justice. Biblical justice means that we seek to be just the way God is. A very sense of what is right and wrong, what is fair, equal, and what God would have us do is based on Scripture and the way God calls us to live. Social justice is also important to Christians. That's because this is the justice that is done for social reasons. It's mostly concerned with creating a level and balanced playing field for all people, regardless of their walk of life. Social justice falls under biblical justice, but biblical justice actually goes further. Biblical justice says that we as Christians are to do everything in our power to show the world God's love and His fairness and His equality that we're all made in His image. Even though most people agree on these definitions of justice, there are so many questions that can arise when we talk about it. Questions like this, am I responsible for bringing justice to other people? What do I do when the person says something that is just, and then another person says that it's not. How do I know what justice is and what it's not? What can I do in the big scheme of things because it feels like there's way more injustice in the world than I could ever do anything about? Even if I want to be just, how can I go about it in my daily life? I'm just a kid, so what can I do about injustice? Do the things I do even matter or make a difference? How does justice affect my politics? How does justice impact my choices? What does justice mean as a follower of Christ? These questions are all important and something we're going to be discussing over the next couple of weeks. But before that, I want to just share a few scriptures that kind of talk about biblical justice and what it means to God. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 17, learn to do good, seek justice, help the oppressed, defend the cause of orphans, and fight for the rights of widows. So this is in the Old Testament, but now we're going to jump to the New Testament, something written almost 800 years later. James chapter 1 verse 27, Pure and genuine religion in the sight of God the Father means caring for orphans and widows in their distress and refusing to let the world corrupt you. The idea of biblical justice hasn't changed for thousands of years for Christians. Biblical justice means that we as God's people seek people pushed to the margins of society. Those who are oppressed, those who are hurt, those who are laughed at and pushed down by others, and we stand up for them. We seek equality and justice, fairness for them. We show people their value when the world says they're not valued. It's always been like this and it will always stay like this. 
If we're going to follow God, it means doing good and seeking justice and acting justly in our lives. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be talking about justice and what it looks like in our very lives and how we can live it out. As Christians, we have a responsibility to seek justice, not just for us and our family, but for everyone, but for all the people we're, we run into, all the people we come into contact with. We're called to try to bring justice to everyone we can and to stand with people who are thrown to the outside of the margins of society. Justice is not as complicated as we often make it. Justice is acting in a way that helps to bring equality and fairness to society at large and to every single person we come into contact with in our very lives. Justice is simply doing good and helping the the people around us. It is living the way Jesus has called us to live. I want to encourage you to continue to watch these videos on justice. I believe that they can make a huge impact in how you live. Pray with me. Dear God, we thank you for being just. We thank you um, for instilling justice in us. Help us to live that out um, for every single person we come into contact with, God. Help us to stand for those who need help. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Thanks for that lesson on justice, Landon. Since we don't have youth group tonight, make sure to catch up on our youth group on YouTube videos and our Memorial Youth Podcast. Remember that you are loved by God and you are loved by us. See ya.